Hey everyone, Master Hyman here. Today's question is, what is the difference between a sweep, a reap, and a hawk? And all three of these are different types of leg takedowns. And we're gonna start with the sweep today, and just like a broom, a broom does not work if you lift it off the ground. This is the same thing with a sweep. So that's the way you can differentiate these. And we're gonna utilize Sensei Devin today to be able to go through and help demonstrate a little bit of the differences between the sweeps and the, the, the reaps and the hawks. So on the sweep, Sensei Devin's gonna come into his fighting stance and we're not gonna worry about uh, balance manipulation today. We're not gonna worry about actually executing the techniques. We're just going into our final position to show what the differences are. So on uh, defensive technique number 22, where we're down behind the person, this would be a sweep, okay? If we're coming through, we're utilizing that foot, okay? Uh, if we were more on the outside of the person here with our back to back, okay? Again, we're working the sweep. The foot is staying on the ground, coming straight through. If he were more in a side horse stance, and this would be executed more in a sparring scenario, and I'm gonna be working into the iron broom sweep, I would drop down to the knee, come through, and slice through. So again, working the sweeps, all of these stay on the ground, okay? Going into the reap, we're gonna be working off of techniques like DT, defensive technique number 20, also into defensive technique number one. And the reap, just like the Grim Reaper, you carrying his sickle or utilizing the sickle to cut wheat, the blade is gonna be our foot. The handle is our hip. So we got a little bit of motion up here and we got a heck of a lot of motion down at the foot. And so the idea on a reap is it comes up and through cutting the leg out, okay? And that's how you can tell the difference between the sweep and the reap. The sweep stays on the ground, the reap comes up and through. Now a hawk is actually going to draw in just like the bird of prey. And we can work the inside hawk, we can work the outside hawk, it does not matter. Both of them are gonna have that drawing motion, okay? And if I'm working on the inside hawk, my leg is coming to the inside of the body, getting behind the knee, and I'm gonna have that little bit of a pull into my body, the foot's gonna come out slightly, bringing him down to the ground, okay? If he was left foot forward, okay, and I'm working that hawk, the right foot would come to the outside of his body and draw inward into my body, okay? So again, the hawks are going to, thank you Sensei Devin, the hawks are actually gonna be drawing the person into you, okay? And again, we didn't worry about the position that we were getting into today, we didn't worry about uh, manipulating their balance, which we will get into another video because before every type of takedown, we always have some type of balance manipulation. But we wanted to go over just the main differences between the sweeps, the reaps, and the hawks. So remember, just to reiterate, a sweep is gonna stay on the ground, a reap is gonna come up and through, and a hawk is going to draw in. Please go ahead and leave any comments or questions down below or suggestions. Please make sure you also like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can see all our videos coming up. Thank you very much, have a great day.